Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever and I do got some news for you. And our very first topic of the video is President Cyril Ramaphosa gets the ANC's top 6 support to oust Ace Mahashule. So it seems like President Cyril Ramaphosa has won the backing of the rest of the ANC's top six for Secretary General Ace Mahashule to immediately step aside pending the outcome of his fraud and corruption case. Now according to the reports, this was the response of the other five officials when Mahashule informed them on Sunday night that he would not voluntarily vacate his office. Now despite a National Executive Committee ruling that those facing criminal charges must step aside or face suspension. But now, according to a Sunday Times report, it is understood that Ace Mahashule will not step aside from his position without a fight, which will force the party to suspend him. It is then expected that he will seek to appeal against that particular decision. Which personally I kind of saw coming a mile away, delay tactics, you know how the ANC does. But yeah, the guidelines that are formulated around the step aside did not spell out how the appeals process should work. So right now, according to the reports, the ANC Treasurer General Paul Mashatile is now rushing to complete ahead of the National Executive Committee, the NEC meeting this weekend. So yeah, apparently it does seem that the whole step aside thing the ANC has got going was not fully complete and formulated, which in turn has given several of the criminally charged ANC members a way to navigate this thing or delay the process anyways. But yeah, that was just some politics for you guys real quick. Please also do me a huge favor. If you are enjoying the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Maps Maponyane opens his third Buns Out. Media personality Maps Maponyane has opened a third Buns Out restaurant despite facing challenges during the the COVID-19 pandemic. Maps opened up about how in the face of the challenges presented by the coronavirus lockdown, he has managed to open two new eateries in Rosebank and Norwood in Johannesburg. He posted a couple of pictures and captioned them, new store alert, buns out 3.0 Norwood. When the pandemic started, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to keep our doors open, but somehow we've managed to open two new locations and you are going to love our latest. Thank you for keeping us in business. Hashtag Buns out Norwood. So definitely a huge congratulations to Maps. As at the beginning of the lockdown last year, things did look a little bit bleak for Maps, who announced that he had to take a tough decision to close his restaurant indefinitely. At the time, he posted the following on Twitter, after trying to stretch out any kind of production, including deliveries, to keep our staff employed and customers happy, we've decided to indefinitely close Buns out. It is tough as a new small business, but at the end of the day, we need to keep everyone safe, and staying operating in any kind of way would completely go against this. Wash your hands often, stay safe, and if in any way possible, stay home. Please be considerate and take care of each other. Now after that, it does seem that things did take a turn for the better for Maps and now he is standing on the other side thanking his fans for the unwavering support of his restaurant. Again, definitely a huge congratulations to Maps for weathering the pandemic storm and coming out on the other side stronger and better than ever. Our next topic, TK leaves Uzalo again. To be honest with you, I'll say I don't feel like he left again. He kind of just passed by. He didn't really come back. But nonetheless, Dogos Lamini, who is also known as TK Lamini, has answered some of the fans' deepest questions regarding his latest appearance on the hit Mzanti show Uzalo. Now, Mzanti's favorite show, Uzalo, released a series of teasers for upcoming episodes. And on those teasers, we saw Mastermind, who is played by TK Lamini, making a comeback. Now do keep in mind that Mastermind was a character who was a fan favorite from the very beginning of the show and while the character of Mastermind was off screens, TK did take this opportunity to spend more time and bond with his baby and his partner Jessica Nkosi. So yes, even though TK had embraced his departure from Uzalo, fans were a little bit upset about this. So of course with TK's character of Mastermind no longer gracing the television screens, rumors and speculation started doing the rounds. Now one of the rumored reasons behind the actor leaving the show was that he had been fired. There were also some reports that were claiming that the reason that TK had promptly left the show was due to a host of issues such as that he was allegedly difficult to work with and that he was also starting to miss shooting schedules. 
But it seems like TK has come out to set the record straight. He was interviewed on Gagasi FM and he confirmed that he would be leaving the show to focus on his baby with Jessica Nkosi. Now, in addition to TK going on radio to clear the air, Uzalo PR manager went on to refute any claims that TK had been suspended or fired. This is what the PR manager had to say. We'd like to make it clear that he was never dismissed or suspended. We can confirm that TK Lamini, also known as Mastermind, will be appearing on Uzalo in the near future. Now do keep in mind that all of this was about seven months ago and of course people kind of forgot about it and sort of like pushed it out of their mind until early April of 2021 where Mastermind had been featured in the teaser of an upcoming episode. Now needless to say that people were definitely excited by this particular news. Now indeed Mastermind did make an appearance on Uzalo last week in which he came to help Umangobo out. Now of course fans were definitely excited to see one of their favorite characters come back to screen again but were a little bit disappointed to find out that Mastermind's appearance was just an appearance and that he would not have a more prominent role on the show. Now one user on social media even went on to write the following. So at Uzalo SAPC1 was Mastermind back for just three episodes? Where is Mkolisi? Because he was written on April teaser, they both not in May teaser what's happening were we taken for a ride great question right there personally i was thinking the same thing we did hear that uzalo was dropping in the ratings numbers so i mean it makes sense but nonetheless tk lamini did reply to this user and wrote that was the arc mastermind was only back to assist mangobo and leave again thank you to everyone that watched hashtag uzalo definitely does seem like we were taken for a ratings ride our next topic, King Munada refuses to increase 500 rand papgeld. Where is that show? No excuse, pay papgeld when you need it. But nonetheless, musician King Munada's baby mama has reportedly resorted to dragging King Munada to maintenance court due to their disagreement over the amount of money he is to give her each month for their 11-year-old child. Now, King Munada's ex-girlfriend and baby mama has slapped the artist with a maintenance suit after he refused to increase the papgeld from 500 rands to 1200 now according to a sunday world report king monada and his baby mama had their child while they were in secondary school and later on split in 2013 now she says that the musician has been paying 500 rand towards the maintenance for years and that she did not complain because she was uh, supplementing it with her nafsis stipend when she was still a student and that's how she kept life moving on she said the following in the article, I was getting this fund when I was a student at the Twana University of Technology, but because I finished last year and I am now unemployed, the amount it gives me is no longer enough to support our child. Now, according to the reports, she actually doesn't live too far away from King Monada's mansion in Zanin. And she said that she did indeed approach him and asked him to increase the maintenance money to about 1,200, but he refused saying that this was too much and that he couldn't afford it. So when he refused to increase the maintenance, maintenance money she then approached the court to open a maintenance case against him she went on to say that the court officials told us to come on april the 19th and when we arrived he told them that he could only afford 500 rand a month they then told me to bring my bank statement and also told him to bring both his personal and business statements to compare our incomes at the second appearance on april the 26th now on the second court appearance on april the 26th king monada rocked up with his legal team who told the court that one 1200 rand is too much for the star despite king monada having many gigs and having expensive cars now when it comes to a comment from king monada regarding this particular story his manager has declined to comment and said that this is a private matter do get in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think about king monada refusing to increase the pub held from 500 rands to 1200 rands now imagine me in dr malinga's voice no excuse pay pub held and as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.